Behold, behold the Lamb of God, who takes away the sin of the world. The sin of the world. Anyone in this world who looks to Christ, recognizing their desperate need of a Savior. And that's the message of the Bible. It's not a moral improvement program. That might have been what you've heard. But the Bible is a rescue program. God has rescued all who will trust in Him, the Lord Jesus Christ, the second person of the Trinity, who was born in the Virgin, lived a sinless life, and died on the cross as His sacrifice. The only authorized sacrifice for sin and rose again from the dead. The Bible says it was declared to be the Son of God with power by the resurrection from the dead. God was able to say his sacrifice was sufficient. All the religions of man will say certain things are necessary, but none of them are sufficient. But Christ in his life and in his death, what he did was sufficient. He died for sin and he lived a life of righteousness. And God, will, because of Christ who stood in the place of sinners, count his sin, his sacrifice for our sins, as the means by why he can accept us forever. The most glorious thing about the gospel is that you get God. In his presence there's fullness of joy. At his right hand there's pleasures forevermore. And the gospel is about God. And if we don't know him by grace, we won't face his judgment. He says, come to the Son. Now is the accepted time. Today is the day of salvation. And to be saved means to be rescued from a calamity. The greatest calamity is to face God on judgment day without a savior. But, ladies and gentlemen, there is a perfect savior. The Lord Jesus, who lived a flawless, perfect life. The life you and I should have lived. And he died on the cross for all who were trust in him. All who were trust in him. We are justified by his blood, by his sacrifice on the cross. What a message! No matter what the background, no matter, no matter what you're facing, the Lord Jesus Christ stands with his arms open wide and says, Come to me all who are weary and heavy laden, and I'll give you rest. My yoke is easy, my burden is light. He can do this because he's the king. He's the king of all kings, and the yoke he lays on us is easy for us because he empowers us to do it. He gives us a love for him. Once he comes, by the power of the Holy Spirit into our life, he does change the life. He does change lives. But it's not the changing of your life that saves you. It's what he did on the cross. We preach the message of the cross. On the cross, he bore the sins of all those who would ever trust in him. He bore our sins in his body on the train. First Peter 2, 24. Call upon him, he's the only savior. He's the only one who can save. Ladies and gentlemen, you and I have broken God's law, but there is a savior, the Lord giver. Take on himself the sins of all those lawbreakers who believe in him. Have you come to him? Have you repented? Turn away from all you know to be wrong and turn to him. There is nothing more important than this message. The message of God's rescue plan. He saves all who trust in him. Hebrews says he saves to the uttermost those who come to God by him. Have you come? I invite you to come. I plead with you to come. Turn from sin to trust the only Savior. There is no other name under heaven given among men by which we must be saved. We must be saved. Saved, what is that? To be rescued from a calamity. Don't go to God on judgment day without Christ.